Welcome back! The next few Advanced Framework Core 4.0 tutorials will be all around the interaction components. Within the next week, I am going to add on already existing videos on the topic, so soon you will have access to a tutorial dedicated to every interaction component the framework provides. As we explained in our previous video on the component system, each component encapsulates a specific functionality you might want to add to an actor or other entity. If you did not watch the video yet, or want to refresh your memory, you find the link in the description. The interaction components are all about enabling the player to interact with an actor. You can imagine them as a receptor at the surface of an actor, enabling it to receive a specific type of signal from the pawn. And with the Advanced Framework Core 4.0, all player interactions we could think of are finally encapsulated in their own interaction components. More about that in the videos on the specific components. The overacting idea of the interaction components is more important right now, which is that they basically act as a relay between the player and the actor. This mostly includes two types of pathway. Either the signal is received and processed by an event dispatcher and the logic connected to it, or the signal is received and transferred to another component, mostly a state component. There are also additional routes that are more specific to one component. Despite the differences, the interaction components share a number of settings, mainly regarding highlighting and sound management. Let me show them here, so I don't have to repeat myself. Let's start with highlighting. Most interaction components have their own highlighting settings, so you can highlight an actor differently according to which interaction possibility the player has. You can use different highlight types or simply different colors for that, just as you see fit. Let me give you an overview on your choices. None as highlight type prevents highlighting. The custom highlight type resorts to the highlight event dispatcher for custom made highlighting functions. Post process highlighting provides the actor with a colored border using the highlight color. The mesh highlighting type looks very similar as post-processing, but works differently using the highlight material provided below. Material function highlighting requires you to provide a material with the corresponding material function to work, a process we are going to describe in the highlight component video. Finally, if you have an actor with multiple meshes and only want to highlight a selected number of them, you can specify them by using the highlight tag. The sound setup is very much straightforward. Most interaction components have hover or unhover sounds, which indicate when an interaction starts or stops to be available. Additionally, some components provide a sound on execution of the interaction or at the start and the end of the interaction, according to what, what makes more sense. Finally, let me give you a short overview on which interaction components the Advanced Framework Core provides and their sound and highlighting properties. That's all I've got for today. Bye-bye and see you in the next video.